Hey everybody, this is week one of the NFL. The 100th season begins tomorrow, and that means it's time for me to make some picks. This is brand new that I'm doing this year. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, of course, you can leave your comments in the sec you know, in the comment section below. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm going a little crazy on my picks. So, let's jump right into it. Week 1 of the NFL season begins tomorrow night with the Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears. The Bears are a three-point favorite to win. I'm taking the Bears. They're at home. It's Soldier Field. Um, that Chicago crowd is going to be rocking all night. I like the Bears to win this one. The Buffalo Bills are at the New York Jets. The Jets are a three-point favorite to beat Buffalo. And I gotta be honest, I had a bit of a hard time finding my upset uh, special here this week. But I'm going to put this game on upset alert. Even though it is a three-point spread, I like the Buffalo Bills to beat the New York Jets. The NFC champion Los Angeles Rams go over the Charlotte to play the Carolina Panthers. The Rams are a two-and-a-half point favorite. That Rams defense is going to eat up Cam Noonan. I like the Rams to start their reign as the NFC champions with a victory. The Atlanta Falcons go north to Minnesota to play the Vikings. The Vikings are a four-point favorite. This is going to be an interesting contrast with the two quarterbacks, Matt Ryan for Atlanta, Kirk Cousins for Minnesota. Should be a good matchup, uh, good matchup of two good quarterbacks. But I think Minnesota is going to outlast Atlanta in this one. I'm going to take the Vikings over Atlanta. The Washington Redskins go to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. The Eagles are a 10-point favorite to beat Washington. Ouch, that's a little bit harsh. Uh, I am a Redskins fan, but I got to agree. I think the Eagles are going to take this one to start the season 1-0. The Tennessee Titans go to Cleveland to face the Browns. The Browns, probably a lot of people's picks to win the Super Bowl this year, or at least make the playoffs. The Browns are a five-and-a-half point favorite. I'm going to take Cleveland to beat Tennessee. The Chiefs go to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. The Chiefs are a three-and-a-half point favorite. That's a little bit interesting there, but I like the Chiefs to start their season 1-0. Despite Jacksonville having a really good defense, I think the Chiefs are going to beat Jacksonville. Baltimore flies down to Miami to face the Dolphins. The Ravens are a seven-point favorite. I mean, this Dolphins team is just... The spanning, they're falling apart at the seams. Ravens are going to win that one easily. The Cincinnati Bengals go to Seattle to play the Seahawks. The Seahawks are a nine and a half point favorite. I mean, are the Bengals really that bad of a team? They might be if they're a nine and a half point underdog. I'm going to take the Seahawks over the Bengals. The Indianapolis Colts go to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. The Chargers are a six and a half point favorite. The Chargers, um, they're a team. Hey, I'm telling you, this Chargers team, they could sneak their way to the Super Bowl this year. I like the Chargers starting out the season 1 0. They're going to beat the Colts. Even if the Colts had Andrew Luck, I think uh, Los Angeles would have defeated Indy. The San Francisco 49ers go to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers. Uh, it's currently a pick 'em. Uh, you could go either way on this one. I'm going to take the 49ers on this one to win. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to come back. And I think Garoppolo, he's going to have a redemption season for missing out with the injury. I think the 49ers are going to start this one with a win. The New York Giants go to Dallas to play the Cowboys. The Cowboys are a seven-point favorite. And, of course, with Ezekiel Elliott signing that new contract today, He's more than likely going to play in this game on Sunday. I'm going to take the Cowboys to beat the Giants, and they will go 1-0 to start the season. The Detroit Lions go to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Kyler Murray going to start his career in the NFL. The Lions are a 2.5 point favorite. This is one that you could go either way as far as picking, but I'm going to take the Lions on this one. Matthew Stafford is still a good quarterback. Kyler Murray... He's young, 
He's going to be a good quarterback, but I just can't see him and the Cardinals beating a good Lions team. And hopefully this Lions team can stay healthy in the regular season if they can. I'm not saying they're going to win the division, but they could be in the mix for the wild card. The Sunday night game, the Pittsburgh Steelers go to New England to play the Patriots, the defending world champs. The Patriots are a five-and-a-half-point favorite. That's good enough for me. I'm going to take the Patriots to beat Pittsburgh. And Monday night is a doubleheader, starting off with the Houston Texans at the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are a seven-point favorite to beat Houston. I'm going to take the Saints on this one. Um, I think the Saints are going to maybe be the most dangerous team in the NFC this entire season. And I'd hate to be every team that is on their schedule with what happened in the playoffs last year. Uh, I'm going to take the Saints to win this first game. And the other half of the Monday night doubleheader, the Denver Broncos go to Oakland to play the Raiders. It's currently a pick em, but I'm going to take the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to surprise a lot of people this year. And I really think, I'm going to say it for the record, I think the Raiders are going to end up in the playoffs this year. I think they got a shot to be in it. The AFC is wide open um, as far as the wild card teams go. Why not the Oakland Raiders? They got a very good quarterback. Their defense can be good again. Um, but I'm going to take the Raiders to win against Denver on Monday night. So that's going to do it for my picks for week one. Like I said, if you agree or disagree or if you have your own picks, please leave them in the comments section below. And I will talk to you guys next week with my week two picks of the NFL season.